Okay, I'll go ahead and call the March 6th, 2024 Planning and Zoning Commission meeting to order. <clears throat> uh, we'll do a quick roll call. Hoffie? Here. Shoemaker? Here. Kellogg? Here. Gallion? Here. McFarland? Here. Schrock? Here. And Kreider? Here. First order of business will be electing a new chair and vice chair, and then whoever that is can take over the meeting from there. How's that? I'll nominate Don McFarland for the chair. Okay. Do we have a second on that? I'll second it. Shoemaker? Aye. Kellogg? Aye. Hoffey? Aye. Kreider? Aye. Gallion? Aye. Schrock? Aye. McFarland? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like getting right into it, yeah. is there? <laughs> Both these. <laughs> and we'd need a nomination for a vice chairman. Nominate Bob Shoemaker. I'll nominate Andrea Kellogg. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Bob, just take the. <laughs> do we have a second on one of those nominations? <laughs> I'll second Bob. Okay. Kellogg? Yes. McFarland? Yes. Shoemaker? Abstain. Schrock? Aye. Gallion? Aye. Kreider? Aye. she has got me spinning here. <laughs> That's a new one. Go for it, or <laughs> if you want me to do it, I'll gladly keep rolling. It's up to you. Until I get the hang of the launch, yeah. you continue, and then okay. I'll take some good notes over here. All right. <laughs> so we'll need, uh, we have the December 6, 2023 meeting minutes for your review and approval. We need a motion on those if there's no additions or corrections. So moved. I'll second. Schrock? Aye. Hoffie? Aye. Kellogg? Yes. Kreider? Aye. Gallion? Aye. Shoemaker. Abstain. Wasn't here. And McFarland. Aye. All right. The first order of business is Rapinder Singh is here on behalf of Domino's. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, on behalf of Domino's, they submitted a variance request for 181 West Jackson Street, the old laundromat building. The variance is for 5.45 square feet from the maximum allowable 32 square feet in the downtown business district. This went before the design review board at 6 o'clock. They approved that request, contingent on your approval of the variance. Sent out surrounding property owner notifications, got one phone call. Just asking for some clarification, provided that, and they didn't have any concerns. Well, I'm assuming this is the typical sign that Domino's puts in the size everywhere they put in a Domino's. This, is a, this is a typical oh, size, probably, that goes in in Domino's. I'm trying to Domino's. Yeah. That fits into the building, so it's not exactly like all the signs are not the same, so we can change the sizes accordingly. What was the concern about the person who called in? He just wanted to know where it was going. He didn't know what that address was. Um, so he thought it was the old Fox's building, Fox's Pizza. Um, that was really it, just wanted to know where it was. And I explained that it's, I did tell him, you know, we've approved. He asked if this is out of sorts, you know, if it's a big request or mm -hmm. not. And I said, it's really not with these corner double frontage buildings. Mm -hmm. We've gotten these requests, pretty much every one of them has gotten variants at some point for their signage. So. The other question I've got is this sign on the west side of the building. I thought mm -hmm. there was a mural going to be painted on there. Is that going to interfere in any way? Or no, this, be? so where the dark spot is, is where their siding is going to wrap around just at the edge there, but our mural isn't going to go until there's a handicap 
sign for the parking, yeah. our murals clear down on the other side of that. Okay. So this is this is great. This is great. The yeah. way the way they have it, it's great. Do you need a motion? We do. I'll make a motion accepted. I'll second. Shoemaker. Aye. Kreider. Aye. Hoppy. Aye. Kellogg. Yes. Galleon. Aye. Schroff. Aye. And McFarland. Aye. You're good to go. I can't wait for Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Answer, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I can't wait to see what it looks like when the things come down out of the window so we can see what it looks like inside. Oh, like it said, okay, yeah. Yeah. We have to change the frame, so we'll sit this down so we can get it open. Yeah, that'll be great. That'll are, be great. Are, are you going to it? Are you going to have pickup out the back or anything? or? No, the pickup is going to be at the front. It'll still be in front. Yeah, it'll still be at the front. We have like empty space behind, so we just leave it just like that. So. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for all your support and everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have good evening. Have good evening. Yeah. <laughs> all right. The next next item. Uh, Noah Miller's here. Submitted a variance request to 283 South Alexander Street. 20 foot variance request from the 20 foot front yard setback requirement for the construction of a garage. This is in the R3. Village Residential District. Uh, again, got one phone call on this. Just wanted to know. It's actually from your neighbor behind you, Tim Hawkins. He thought you were building in the back, and I said, "No, this is out front." He said, "Oh, even better. <laughs> Sounds good." <laughs> he said he'd talk to you about it different times. So, um, so you should have got a the drawing. If you look at the the picture of the house, so the proposal is to take the steps out and build the garage in to come from the front of the house out to the virtually the sidewalk and the you know it's here you can answer but you know our discussions he has room in the back but but it's not accessible because of terrain you can't get a vehicle back there so that's why he's requesting to build in the front put it up front and that would get likely not your vehicle, but your wife would be able to get off the street yeah, and free up. Her, her car would be off the street. So I was up there this afternoon and looked at that. So there's no access to your property from, I think it's called Salon Alley? It's, I mean, there, it would take a lot of work to get, okay. to make it drivable. There's alleys, but it's not great terrain to get to. Yeah. Well, if you go in Swan Alley through the, the uh, Airbnb type, you go through their parking lot into somebody else's, into my neighbor's driveway, and then you can access the alleyway from there. It doesn't but run all the way. Yeah. So you that was your neighbor's concern that you were coming, going to be using, having to use his driveway. Uh, no, that that was it's not the top of the Okay. Hawkins is, is up above. Is up above. Is okay. Up, he's up above. Us. Oh, by you. Okay. So Swan's not paved all the way back. Yeah, I drove back to where the stop sign and the fence are, and I could see the corner of your property, but. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. It's always packed over there. I've been over there multiple times, and the parking on street is always full. Well, then you can't turn around. Yeah. You, I mean, you go up. I mean, I understand, but they, you know, you're not allowed to turn around that one, so you're backing around. Is there enough room there for a driveway between the two houses, or is that not mm -hmm. wide enough? I was up there too, and I, I don't think it's wide enough. It would take a lot of excavating to yeah, put Yeah, that hill is very it's, steep it's through there. So it's steep. steep. It is. Steep. Yeah. To the, the the house to the north, you're saying? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure you could. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff, but uh, yeah. do we have tough. Any, do we have any rendering drawings of, of the, you know, the building itself? I mean, this is going to be tight with a pitched roof. Yeah. Uh, 
Do you have anything else from the builders or anything that they? No. Uh, you, you, did you guys get this one? Yeah. 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 yeah I thought that was going to be on the sidewalk, so that was. Yeah. That, that was my question too. Pitch through that. That's still. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to be a pitch through. Uh, I was just going to go off the off the builder's recommendation on that. I just I drew it up. How big is the building going to be? Eighteen thing, by right? yeah. eighteen by sixteen. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. This is. I mean, it's a. It's an unconventional request. We we talked about that. That we don't typically see these kinds of requests. But uh, you know, there's a variance is something that if you read the letter of the law, it's it's because of topography issues and things like that. I think there's an argument there. I think there's a benefit to any cars we can get off the streets back in that whole quadrant of town is a good thing. Yeah. But we all know that's a pretty tight parking area up through there. So I see benefits to it as well. Um, obviously keeping the sidewalk open yeah. and accessible, yeah. which is, he's provided for that. So. Could there be a drive? Cut up to. Mm -hmm. Does that affect the sidewalk in any way? It, it would slope down to you know to the drive and then back up. Yeah. It'd have to match back out. Does an engineer have to sign off on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, for this but residential stuff. So your new proposed building will be from the house out to the sidewalk. Yes. Okay. I have a problem without any rendering drawings. Showing a little more of a location, height, and things without that, I am negative. Why is that a problem for you? Without seeing exactly what he, until he knows he can get yeah. approved. Why is that a problem? Without, without dimensions, site, actual site location, uh, this is not, this is not a very good rendering drawing. Well, no, but, I mean. I mean, you know. What are you going to need that you're going to be okay with once you get, what are you wanting to see as far as the design of a building? Well, I'm like, basically you're going to have to see whether, how far out it's going to come. I mean, it's he already going, said. It's 18 what, to 12. Have you already told us where it's going to be? It's not, it's not going to impede on the sidewalk, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. So, and there's not going to be any problems with the little drive there. So if the building, what does the building have to be to satisfy being okay? What kind of roof, I mean, what does it have to have that he can assure us that when he tells them to go ahead and design it or build it, that it has to satisfy? Well, it's, it's up to you guys to, if you want to Well, see he needs more, to direct then as to what you want him to build. If the board wants more detail, that's that's fine. That's up to you guys to make that determination. It, it makes a difference. I have from the house to the sidewalk. That was my concern, was the sidewalk. Is there enough space between that and the, your neighbor's house? Is there any restriction? I mean, because it looks, I was up there yesterday and it does look pretty tight, even if it does just go to the sidewalk. It'd be the house to the north. To the north. Yeah, you're not going beyond the existing wall of the house, of his house. So there's the front steps are coming out and yeah down. okay yeah. all right yeah so that the i guess if you're facing facing the house looking at that picture that i don't know what you want to call the short section of wall that runs up along the stairs that would come out but the remainder of the wall would stay so this okay. part of the drive so this would be directly right in front yeah with those bushes and Okay. Yeah. The bushes and the steps would all come out, oh. and that would all be garage to the side of the house because it's only 12 feet wide. Yeah. You know. I think just a couple questions. So, um, I, I did not get to drive up there. I just got in this morning from a work trip. But is that from the sidewalk to the road? Is it pretty steep there? It is. Mm -hmm. It's yes. very steep. Yeah. So that that's going to have to be the 
the elevation of the entrance to your drive because that sidewalk will need to stay where it's at, right? That sidewalk needs to stay level right where it's at. No, it can, the sidewalk can slope down to the drive. That's okay. Like as this? You, kind of as you've shown on that. Not, not necessarily oh, okay. it, within two yeah. feet, drop it down, but you can blend it okay. out. It's going to be, to, it's yeah. going to be dark. The second question is, I know that we're getting one car off the street, but how many car lengths are we taking out to preserve the driveway? There isn't any on that side. There's, There's not on that side. It's all on the other yeah, side. Thank you. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Very narrow street. It's a very narrow street. It is. Yeah, yeah it's very narrow. And I've seen, his I've seen his wife get their baby out of the car yeah. when I was up there chit-chatting with him. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I think so. the steps from the street to the sidewalk, we've got to do something about that. Well, that'll probably be driveway, won't it? Yeah, well, yeah that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be. That would be driveway. Do we need more detail? My opinion, yes. <laughs> That's my opinion. Because your your south side of the property will probably be buried in the ground. The other side will be open to the to the north. In other words, you know, what kind of a wall are we going to have in there? Uh, is it all going to be cement block? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Is it and the pitch roof will still be in front of the porch? I mean, it'll, the it'll go in underneath the porch. Yeah. Have we found huh? Katie anything like this before? Sorry. If none of the neighbors have any opposition to it, and the village is okay with it, I don't see any reason to hold it up. Is that a motion, Dave? Not necessarily. It's a <laughs> well, it's I'll a make a motion. It's a statement. But I'll make a motion. to approve as yes. approved. As submitted. Yes. Kellogg? Yes. Coffee? Aye. Kreider? Aye. Gallion? Aye. Schrock? No. Shoemaker? Aye. McFarland? Aye. You're good. Build your garage, Noah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I just want to bring up that new house on North Van Anthony Street. Uh, it's been there maybe two or three years. How far are their garages to the street? Which one's that? North Van Anthony, I can't. I don't know, it's a real nice house. Oh, that's kind. The Fowler? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of stuff by his. I'm not long. sure, Nate. Yeah. That's Is probably it? existing. I, I think it was this. North Van Anthony? Yeah. No, it wasn't, the because there used to be a trailer there. Oh, okay. In fact, it was my great-grandparents' trailer. How far off that is? Is it Carl and Tina's? I think so. Yeah. And what about it? Just, you know, how their garages clear out in front now, to the, close to the street. I was wondering what the variance is there. Is it them or Crab's move? Because Crab came in for a variance on their garage. They're further north. They're up by Roth's. By who? Oh, Tim yeah. Roth. Don't know. Okay. I'm wondering if it's not that I one. I think it is he that came one. It's a real nice place. A couple years ago. The Fowler's did theirs. That's been, it's been a long almost time. 10 years ago yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 
without knowing for sure which one it is, I couldn't say. Let's see, we didn't um, Tom's daughter or something live in a small house there? Oh, um, oh, that's on the other side of the street. That log house? The cabin, that was... Yeah, and then there'd be two houses between... That was... Uh, or, or maybe just one between the cabin... Brooke and, lived there for a little yeah, bit, Brooke right? Yeah, lived there for a while. Yeah. That's where the old Lemon house used to be on the corner. Come out the alley and sit in that corner. Yeah. This would be south of it. The Lemon south. house. Yeah, two houses down. Well, the lemon house. He talking There's that big old yeah, I look. Yeah. <laughs> it's lost. a real nice <laughs> place. <laughs> hey, I wanted to let all you guys know that this this council meeting, I believe it's this council meeting, will be our third reading for um, the shipping containers yeah. that are sided that have the roof that don't look like shipping containers. That ordinance is up to pass on Monday night. Just so you are all aware of that. Hmm. I had a question. Um, as I was getting ready for this, I was looking at the village website and the uh, design review guidelines. Are we going by the old or is the, the new? new? The new. Okay. We're going by the right. new. That's yep. what I it, printed out. I was reading through. Yeah, so. the other day I just noticed they still have the old up there. Yeah. The new have since passed. We need to get the okay. old out. And, and the new has paint up. samples yeah. and all different kinds of things. But yeah, we're, yeah. In, we're in the new. That ordinance okay. passed. All right, because yeah. I was want to make sure I had the right one and I was going by. So. Yeah. Hey, I have one thing. We have several new members here. I know three people on this committee. I think it would have been nice to start with some introductions. Well, I was going to introduce myself. I'm Andrea Kellogg, mm -hmm. Village Council. <laughs> nice to meet you. Dave Kreider. Kelly Hoffey. I'm the mayor. Nice okay. to meet you. This young man here. Me? Yeah. Young? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bob Shoemaker, Councilman. Okay. John McCarl. Okay, I'm Dave Kreider. This is, I'm starting my 10th year on this. Oh my goodness. There, right. Time to retire. <laughs> 10 years. I sat on this years ago, 15 years ago. <laughs> and we're glad you're back. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just bored you've been on 10 years. I didn't either until I got the regulation book out this morning and there's a paper right inside it. I said, holy cow, I can't believe it's been that long. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? What do you do? I'm retired. Okay. I used to work for Owens, Illinois. Oh, all right. I worked, retired from there, and I retired from Rexham. So, what a motion to adjourn. So, um, anybody motion to second. adjourn? <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.